important objections to the CRC stem from the effects of induced demand. Let's look at some ways induced demand occurs. Many drivers choose to drive at a less convenient time to avoid peak travel congestion during rush hour. With the increased capacity of the new bridge, they'll be able to drive during the primary rush hour time frame. This is not an increase of trips overall, but it does contribute to the overcapacity during peak travel. Likewise, those drivers that previously took an alternate route to their destination, perhaps over the 205 bridge, or chose a different destination to avoid crossing the I-5 bridge, will seize the opportunity to cross the CRC, increasing the demand over what is there today. New trips will also come from drivers who previously put off trips because of the congestion delay. If a drive that previously took 40 minutes now takes 20, it becomes much more appealing and will add to the demand over the bridge. Reduced travel times over the bridge will convince those looking for a house in Washington to move farther out than previously acceptable because of the time savings. This new development will increase sprawl, vehicle miles traveled, and place more demand on the new bridge. The effects and causes of induced demand brings a few problems to the region. One problem is displaced congestion. As capacity increases over the bridge, more drivers heading on and off the highway will push congestion farther and deeper into our local streets. Particularly a problem for North Portland where the freeway narrows, drivers will seek routes through the neighborhood to bypass the bottleneck. This will be most prevalent during rush hour and will interfere with pedestrian, bicycle, and local auto traffic. A related problem is the effects of more demand on the other parts of the highway. The I-5 bridge is not the only current point of congestion. Not too far away is a different bottleneck at the intersection with Highway 405. As the increased flow from the 12-lane bridge hits this bottleneck, it will only aggravate the problem. Increased bridge flow will take this stretch from bad to worse. The fear is the effect of induced demand will lead us to a worse situation than today. The bridge will return to a congested state. In the surrounding streets, there will be more traffic, not less. Sprawl will spread in Washington. We will still be paying off the $4 billion price tag.